Hi everyone, this is Imam. Today I'm going to show you uh, how can we have uh, multiple bevels uh, for particular specific edges where we, uh, the, the geometry could be broken because of the shape, the way it's constructed and the bevel tool just doesn't work if you have a large enough radius for a particular bevel tool. So we're going to see how to um, remake the reconstruct the shape after we have a geometry like that. Like a broken uh, bevel so let's uh, start so we have a cube now for the shake of this tutorial and I'm gonna uh, make this cube into a wedge so just uh, slide this edge and double G to slide it and just slide it uh, up to the another edge and then we select all by a and control V to bring up the vertex menu and merge vertices by distance because we wanted to merge these two vertices which are so two vertices removed now we have this uh, wedge like a uh, shape we wanna <coughs> create two edge loops around here and just scroll control R to bring up the edge loops and uh, move the mouse around on this face and then scroll to have two edge loops and right left click to end and also right click to leave it in the original position now let's uh, scale this uh, two edges uh, along the y so we just want to spread it out a little bit and now we have this uh, two edge loops for our shape let's go to the uh, back back view so just uh, press 3 to see the front uh, side view uh, and then control 3 to look at from this angle essentially control 3 so now we want to use the knife tool and Z to activate the cut through so we want to cut both sides and uh, just uh, this uh, seat constraint the angle and then just cut like that click left click to and then a space to end now we have this cut both sides and now I uh, want to go to the face selection and select these two faces and press X to bring up the delete and then space uh, faces to delete the faces now I want to uh, select the edge selection tool and then select these two edges and F to create a new face and do the same for this side and also for this two now uh, now select all again and control v to bring up the vertex and march by distance to ch check if there is any uh, ex extra duplicated vertices now we have this particular shape and we want to apply to bevel to these two edges and Let's apply Control V, uh, Shift, select these two edges, and then Control V to uh, bring up the bevel. And uh, let's up to here. And now we have only let's come down here in the bevel, and we want to add more segments, so make it round or complicated. And I think that's about uh, this looks all right and white. Uh, I think this also looks all right now escape uh, uh, select outside to close the bevel. now we have this shape now the problem is whenever we kind of uh, trying to add a new bevel for this particular crease or edge so the problem arises uh, let's select this uh, whole edge and deselect this too and we want to add a beverage bevel here but we can't really do so when we use that bevel tool again control v and that's what happens uh, the the bevel tool can't really relocate all the vertices and uh, nearby vertices to make it a good cut or merge it blend it perfectly it doesn't work you can activate the clamp here in the and it tries to minimize uh, double lapping or it doesn't work so we need to do fix it manually that's how i wanted that's what i wanted to show you in this uh, tutorial video so we want to have a radius say 
so it's becoming really really hard good shape let's have uh, that much and i think we should do for the both side and let's select this as well by holding control key and shift key to select uh, control r shift uh, control uh, let's select manually shift while holding the shift key we so we selected both side edges now control v to bring up the bevel wanna apply a bevel say that much so it's a round bevel and uh, segments you can have say yeah that's uh, all right i think uh, that's fine four segments and yeah let's close it now we have this broken up geometry if we exceed the edit mode you will see and uh, in the if we go back to the if we apply the smooth shading and uh, and then go here we want to apply a go to the modifier and apply edge split to, to see how the shape looks uh, with the smooth shading on but we have this uh, overlying uh, geometry extra created by the bevel tool which doesn't work uh, so let's uh, uh, fix this uh, so essentially we have to manually uh, fix this uh, there is uh, there's the only option I found uh, there is no other way so let's select the overlying faces and uh, we just uh, delete them uh, while holding shift delete faces and again we select faces yeah then there will be additional uh, so this is uh, looking good now starting to look we we're deleting the extra things from our geometry so essentially we are manually cleaning up this um, uh, it's starting to so we have let's select all and then let's try to clean up anything extra merge vertices by distance so for merged and then also mesh clean up delete loose and also select all again a to select all and then clean up degenerate dissolve so zero faces or zero length edges now we want to uh, select the edge tool and then select this extra edges and delete uh, which is uh, outside of the geometry we don't need them and here x to bring up select x to delete and uh, we need to fix uh, quite a bit here fill the gap mm, fill the hole so we have some holes and the bevel tool can't really automate this so we have to do it manually let's see if it's oh this already kind of a perfect hole when we uh, we can select the hole by alter and right clicking so it's a perfect hole we don't have to fix much here as well it's a perfect hole and here let's check alter right click so we just have to fill the hole that's it let's uh, because we're gonna be doing some uh, manu manipulation of these uh, vertices to make it perfect uh, let's uh, go to the here go here view we, we want to clip a start to reduce it to 0.001 essentially one millimeter so we can get a really close view and still see things clearly so while this is selected uh, this uh, this particular hole uh, let's uh, press F to fill it up with a single and gone face now we want to use the knife tool to add the additional edges to make it a uh, perfect like a blending edge flow uh, also adjust uh, the curvature according to the so you can see uh, the way it's coming from this side uh, so it's not uh, this there's a extra reduction like a extrusion because it's not blended so we're gonna 
use the knife tool and move the vertices around let's see so knife in here i think i can create a um i can join these two select this to con uh, j to connect these two and also connect this to j to connect and uh, we wanna connect uh, i think uh, we just have to let's go here in this uh, transformation orientation let's select normal as we wanna move the vertices according to their normal uh, let's move this one select uh, if we here go to the move tool we should be able to move it so it's perfectly we want to make it perfect flow using the so it's now looking nice and um, let's join these two by j so it's uh, kind of use the knife tool and create a cut here and uh, it's flowing nice but i think when we need to fix quite a bit because here you can see um <clears throat> i should be around here so the way it should be here we can move this up uh, up there and we'll push it I think what is the best way just delete this extrusion phase because um, uh, uh, undo face and is deleted now we can create the geometry the way we want um, and push it essentially we have to snatch it I think uh, let's uh, select the whole thing and fill it up sorry and uh, we can use the knife tool to add additional uh, it didn't work and there is a something going on there inside I think it's all right uh, should be working according to so we have duplicated bodies and select all that's why now should work still not working let's select this to subdivide and connect this to move it up and again we do the Essentially, we have to merge this too. So because it's uh, that's what we're trying to achieve. So merge this too as well. So this uh, this is what we guess. Uh, let's connect this to J to connect. And again, here I think we should use the knife tool essentially trying to maintain the flow and you see this flow is how it's going so we dissolve the other things uh, dissolve the edges so now it's this is a flow this is a flow as you can see starting to looks uh, now we have to move the vertices around to make it uh, blend perfectly uh, so here something uh, push it back uh, essentially we have to look from a different angle and use the slide vertex slide to move things around there's a pinch seems like you can see the normal is not normal or pinching happening yeah, it's just um, I think uh, let's say so it looks a little bit all right but something is a uh, little bit 
something is just not right feels like mm, because uh this should be a maybe we can separate this uh use the knife too uh, essentially we have to get that uh it looks so better now let's uh, delete this uh edge i think that's what is was creating so you can see it's kind of blended almost perfect uh we can fix a little bit things around here to make it more perfect mm, the flow is going there up there and then and this one should be maybe joining here and we just uh, delete uh, delete this edge no it doesn't no 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 mm. We merge this too, and it looks all right. It's a bit pinching point, which I am not liking. Maybe lack of geometry. No, maybe we have to move vertices around. Oh, this one seems like um, oh, it's extra. Let's uh, merge this to last. It, it looks all right a little bit pinching there I'm not quite sure how to why is that happening okay, let's come back to this uh, or later let's work on this side and select the hole and here we have a pretty close let's march this to plus and then select the hole and here i think we should things are pretty close here yeah this should be moved around a little bit let's do the slide and select the hole F to create and we're gonna use the just follow the vertices already there uh, so it's gonna make it perfect so just join the vertices so the flow should be all right and here we have to and here I think things are a little bit here. We have some extra line and geometries. Just wanna a selection dissolve edge and uh, What we can do here is merge this first. So essentially removing any extra thing on the geometry design page. So the flow is there and here it seems like uh, there is a sharp thing going on there as well it should not be like that let's dissolve the edge we just have to mm -hmm. because you can see this is uh we needed another flow from there that's why the problem was arising just mars this too and it seems to be less as long as we have the so here the edge is flowing we 
It's looking alright. Okay. So here's the problem. It's, uh, it's not blending perfectly. Let's, uh, let's uh, continue, let's uh, do the other stuff, but you get the idea, you just have to fix the edge flow. Um, let's do the, for the other. In here, let's move this. And uh, select all, F2. Okay, to knife, use the knife to and then here we can and this I think that's how it should be because we're not following any standard way uh, here if we see let's go to the wireframe mode if there is any nope <laughs> I can't really see the vertex for this side. It's a, oh, it's a pin stays inside. And let's bring it up. And let's uh, bring it down. We have to fix that. And here is one the flow should be maintained. And here as well. And we just have to delete any extra dissolve and move things around to make it uh, looks perfect because we don't have any extra. And, you know, I think um, it's uh, starting to look alright. Here we need another uh, look for this. And here we can just move this thing a little bit inside. And you can see the shape doesn't look pretty much blended, but we can just. Uh, Vertex location to make it blend nicely. So here, okay, it's roughly it's all right. Getting there. Let's do the same for this side. And let's slide this double G to slide. And then move it up. And select the hole here a little bit pinching point let's go close by pressing period and then here we have this extra face line we just have to delete this and we delete this face no this is uh at all maybe Let's select the edge, I think, subdivide, and what, we just join this with this, um, first, because this, it doesn't, so we have to move this, um, to move this up, around there, and say, last, and uh, that's how it should be. Select this whole loop, uh, fill and fill in. Okay, to connect this to K to connect, and also K to so here we're having something. 
Let's delete this, I'll dissolve this edge. We'll dissolve this edge as well. We wanna join this. Uh, it's uh, almost alright. You can fiddle around with the vertices to make it like uh, you wanna. What do you wanna do? Bring this down so they look alright. And also, you wanna move this. So, you perfectly following. Here, you wanna move this maybe. And also, you wanna move this. I think a knife tool would go right here to it. And it looks perfect other than there is a something going on there that's because i think we have to bring this thing down here uh, because it's unnatural for it to go up like that uh, i think we just have to Let's say edge slice double G to do the edge slice and here this is still not alright. Let's save our work and save let's say bevel blender bevel custom bevel okay. Large bevel, so large bevel. It's uh, almost all right, and uh, just a little bit fixing you have to do with the flow. I think we can do it if we let's try to do it. Time, uh, you just have to see where the pinching points are occurring. Um, here, let's move these things down. Period. And edge slice. Can use knife to add uh, another thing here because this thing is most inside for no reason. It's kind of lost what is so we just uh, select this edge, subdivide, move this thing up there, connect with this. J to connect. What's happening here? Uh, let's dissolve this vertex. J to connect. Yeah, now it's alright. Uh, this is uh, something is coming out. Um, which is, uh, we can merge this uh, if we like. Last, I think this better. And we kind of trying to uh, essentially to move. This seems like um, should be this triangle is not very happy. But it's getting better you can see it's, uh, it's almost perfect now and uh, yeah it looks all right I think for this side it also looks all right but we can fix a little bit here and actually this should be connected to this um, and We have this uh, loop maybe connected to this. 
Oh, I guess it was uh, too much. Dissolve edge. Also dissolve this. And I think the reason is let's connect this. Dissolve edge and dissolve edge. Yeah, it's uh, looking fine now. As you can see, so essentially you have to spread things out here. If there's any pinching point, you have to spread things out, and uh, it would look nice. And here, something is occurring there, maybe over oh, something, some vertex, extra vertex distance. What well, this is for distance. Just try to see why there is a pinch point. Alrighty, yeah. okay. Let's uh, try to fix the other side as well. And here a little bit pinching point. Uh, I think there's a really should not be like that. If we put this thing around. And we just add another. And now we can use the knife tool and uh, can simply dissolve this edge, I think. But it doesn't look it doesn't look very happy, so we have to. Connect maybe this dissolve uh, this edge, dissolve this edge. Now it's better, I think. And here we have got some multiple uh, very close vertices. Let's march all this and march as the last. So march this at the last, and we just have to move. Uh, let's use the slide. It's, uh, 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 it doesn't look very happy. Uh, we have fixed one problem and then we um, created a new problem. So actually this uh, has to be uh, there is a this is uh, going to the to inside uh, and here I think we have to this not a perfect actually Subdivide this and connect this. See, it's a bit fixing things. Alrighty, it kind of fixed up. So, according to the shading, what do you? Need you can again they say sharp. I think the best solution would be for this. Go about that. Uh, that was missing there. I think I suppose you can see the way it could be fixed is I think the loops uh, differently. Dissolve edges and last, last, and here still have that pinching point. Let's bring it out. Now it's uh, 
looking better. I think it's a bit too sharp, but it's getting better. I think uh, we don't need uh, this extra thing dissolve. Let's fix. That's all right. So we fixed uh, almost three. Uh, one is remaining. So let's fix that one as well. Here, you just have to see me. This should be one. You can clearly see. And uh, it kind of fixed. And here we have something going on. Just check if there is everything is all right. This is flowing. This is flowing. This edge flowing. And uh, this can come down a little bit, but maybe not. Maybe not. Now you think so. Um, it's uh, almost all right this side this side we getting this kind of uh, i think it has to do with something happening there um the way it's, it's not perfectly blending for some reason so let's select let's select all oh. and then remove any extra vertices and, and if i move this up it's gone uh, no it's still there if i move this up and uh, see uh, we have to add another here so sometimes adding another fixes the problem say control r to add another loop uh, which is uh, you can join and that loop and also here we have to join that J to J to join this two with a link of and then remove this um, uh, I think this is fine and it's still there's something a little bit not all right I think it has to do with the movement of the But uh, it's almost all right. It's uh, all right. Let's keep it as it is. So thank you very much. If we now render this our object using a material, yes, yes. Uh, let's set it color. Let's go to the. Let's have metallic. And spangular reduce roughness reduce. render it it's looking all right guys thank you very much so now you get it uh, how to create it to solve the problems of the bevel and create a model like this so please like subscribe and thumbs up and share this video thank you very much until next time